Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. This is the Manufacturing Intelligence Spotlight. I'm your host, Bridget Benedetti, and today we're discussing PC Demus 2017 R2 with Ken Woodbine, President of Metrology Software Solutions for Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. So Ken, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Bridget. How's everything in the PC Demus world? You know, it's going really, really well. Last year, we've had more customers acquiring PC Demus than ever in the past. And I view that as a vote of confidence for some of the productivity initiatives and voice of the customer initiatives that we're pursuing. That's great. Can you give us an example? I'm particularly pleased with the engagement we've had with what we call the Idea Center. Now this is a portal embedded directly in PC Demus where our customers can make suggestions, log new ideas of where they'd like to see the product go. And we allow voting. So those choices that garner the most votes are seriously considered for the roadmap. And we've got a couple in flight now. Now I view this as a great way to augment our roadmap activities to include more direct input from the customers. That's really interesting. Can you uh, tell us more about what productivity improvements you've been working on in the past year? We're focused primarily on continuing to improve workflows, streamlining the workflows regardless of the industry that our customers are in. And this is very important because we see a myriad of variety of uh, very creative solutions that our customers apply to their manufacturing problems regardless of which segment they're in. So we see things in aerospace, automotive, electronics, etc. Now they all have one thing in common and that's that the customers would like to move through these workflows to get to the goal as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now I was thinking about that, what workflows means to me. I think you just captured it, um, steps needed to make, to get to a goal. So you're seeing it that way also. Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, uh, streamlining workflows means achieving the goal with more speed. And we all know what the goal of metrology software is. There's three things basically. It's creating measurements, fulfilling those measurements, and then producing results that can be used to inform on manufacturing improvements. So it sounds like the speed in creating the workflows and the measurement workflows, it's what's really important. Do I have that right? Speed is, is very critical because uh, quality drives productivity and quality decision making requires getting that quality data as quickly as possible. So the faster the better. So how exactly are you streamlining all of these measurement workflows? You know, that comes down to measurement intent. And measurement intent asks the question, what do I need to know to make a decision? Measurement intent can be conveyed in usually one of three ways. It's embedded in 3D models or marked up on 2D blueprints or even directly communicated between engineering and quality personnel. It could even be a proprietary format that some customers invent to solve this problem on their own. But regardless of which way it's conveyed, our goal is to consume that measurement intent and use it to maximize the efficiency to get to the goal of actually having results in hand. Can you give us an example of how that works? Well, let's talk about probably the most prominent and evolving method in the industry and one we're working closely with our key customers on as well, and that's the use of PMI. PMI stands for Product Manufacturing Information. Now that's metadata that travels with a part throughout its life cycle. Now there are many facets to that, but one in particular deals directly with measurement. And that's embedded GD&T, another acronym which means Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. Now we see this showing up more and more in the 3D models that our customers are using. And I'd like to show you an example now with this video of how that plays out in real life. Here we're selecting the GD&T from the CAD model. You can see measurement objects are automatically created, motion is applied, and a completed routine is developed very, very quickly. The GD&T embodies the goal of measurement, and it's the measurement intent that we use from that GD&T to accomplish the measurements very, very efficiently. So where do you see all of this going in the future, and how can you possibly be preparing for all of that? It's really going to be more connections to the digital thread, more automation for creating measurements, 
and that equates to more speed and getting to the goal as quickly as possible. That's where I see it going and that's what we're poised to do with our development activities, our roadmap, including our customer engagement. Looking forward to the journey. Fantastic, thanks Ken. Thank We'd you, like Richard. to get, thank our guest, Ken Woodbine. For more about PC Demas, please visit hexagonmi.com. For more episodes on HXGN TV, please visit hxgntv.com. Thank you for watching.